This is a playlist showing how to transfer a, a change set from Sandbox to LiveWork. And, and the, the, the use example here is uh, we're going to have a, a case. And what I'm looking at is creating additional case record types. And so what I'm going to do is to go out to Sandbox and build uh, a Sandbox. I'm going to build support processes. These are just like uh, the, the, the opportunity stages uh, that you need to do to build record types there. And there's a good video playlist I built on that. Uh, but once we've got that, if we click on basic, basic support, this shows you we've got a, a, a series of stages related to, uh, to, to um, uh, basic support and then a, a similar set if we're looking at a highly engaged support. Uh, we can also then go out and look at our layouts and we can say that we've now built a basic and an engaged, which can be different depending on the fields that we want to be showing. And then if we look at, uh, at then we can actually build uh, the record types for the case object, again, in the sandbox. And so what I've done is to build out a high engagement support uh, record type and also built out a basic, which then allows us to go out to, uh, to build a new case and we can see that we have the choice of both support for engaged and support for inbound. So we have these all now built in the sandbox. And so we now want to transfer them over to uh, the production organization. So we're going to do that using change sets and outbound change sets. Uh, this has a good introduction. Um, and then you can certainly don't show it, but I always encourage you to keep that. Click continue takes you to where you're in the outbound change sets and you can create a new one. Plenty of good things to read on this page, uh, but what that does, it allows you to name it and to provide a, a brief description. And then by saving what you do is you create this record. Uh, clicking edit here for change, say, change set details just drives you right back to the, uh, um, the edit screen. Um, so once we're here, what we, we have is two real choices that we wanna make. One deals with the change set components and what are the profiles that we want to include with that. And so what I'm gonna do is to click uh, add change set components. It's gonna bring up this as a screen. And by, by selecting this, what I'm able to see is an alpha list of all the different things that I could kind of pull in. Um, and then if, if I type though, and what I'm going to do is to go after record type, and if I just type an R, what that does is shows me all the record types available to be added to the change set. And so what I want to do is to work with uh, support for engaged and support for inbound are the two record types that I want to add. And then by clicking add to the change set, what it does, it provides you that they are now here. Uh, and then what you want to do is to click um, view add dependencies. And this is a way to make sure that on any objects you're adding are actually identifying where else they're dependent. You can kind of read through these, but this example would be that um, you've got two of the business processes that we build related to case that need to also be included. So I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to add them to the change set. What that does then is to give me uh, four here. So let's just see if I just click one more time, add view by adding the, uh, uh, the business process. This is what is that done? And you can see there aren't any more that I should be playing with here. Uh, so instead, uh, what I can do is to go out and say, you know, the one I'm missing here is my page layout. And so what I'm gonna do is to click on, on, on add. And then what I've got is uh, the ability to, I can again, test for, for dependencies, but if I click add, what I can do here is I can go to uh, and drop down to page layouts, um, or same way I could have touched just P and gotten to that. Um, and this would show me that there are page layouts that I can pull from. And what I can do is specifically the, the case layouts, basic and engaged, right? By selecting those and by selecting add to change set, then what I get is that they're all there and everything's in good shape. Uh, I can then click add profiles and I can uh, check dependencies again, but adding profiles gets me back to this screen. Uh, and this does that I've got all the profiles I need. Uh, clicking this gets me back to here. And now for the next one, we can talk about what to do as the next stage.